Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, I will show you how to save game in Roblox Studio. So, if you want to save games in Roblox Studio, it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to show you how to do this the right way. So here, let's go ahead and open up Roblox Studio. Now, under Roblox Studio, it's going to load up the application and we want to create a new experience or a new game here. So let's just wait for this one real quickly and we want to create our flat terrain. So in here, usually you start you start creating your game, adding assets, adding models as well, and doing all of the technical stuff here. So let's just wait for the toolbox to load it up real quickly. So just to give you an example, I want to add uh, things here. So for example, I want to add this sports car. Let's click on OK. And we want to add a sword as well. And yeah, so basically you could just start adding things into your game here. And once you've cr done creating your game, we now want to save this one. So how do you actually save your game? Well, it's actually fairly easy. You just need to go to the right sections. So under in our UI here, you want to go to the top left of your screen. That's the file section. Now from here, just click on file. And once you click on file, you want to actually click on publish to Roblox. Now from here, it's going to give you uh, the information that you need to fill up. So right now it's going to be untitled game. So let's just type in something here. So let's say this game. And here you can add your description. The creator is going to be you, but you could also set this at, for your group. If your group is the, going to be the creator, you also have the general devices. So if you want to enable team create, you could go ahead and do that as well. And from here, just click on create. Now it's going to load up the game again. So it's going to restart your Roblox studio, but no worries on this one. It's going to be uh, loaded or saved into our account. So why are we actually saving this into our account? Because if you directly save this on your PC, like if you just save this on your PC and your PC suddenly uh, be unable to be loaded up, you won't be able to access that game since you lo load you saved it locally. So what we need to do here is save it into our Roblox account via the, the Roblox cloud. So how do you actually access that once you've saved it into Roblox? So in here, I'm in my Roblox account. So you want to go to create and you want to click on that and you'll be led into your dashboard. So I think Roblox finished loading up. As you can see, they reload my game. Well, going back here on Roblox create is we want to go to our dashboard. Now on the dashboard, it's going to redirect us back into experience. As you can see, this is the game that we just recently saved. So from here, you could start editing the game. So if you click on the game itself, you'll have the option to edit in studio, as you can see right now. So if you click on edit studio, it's going to load up Roblox Studio and you'll be able to edit your scene here or your experience here. And yeah, it's actually quite easy. It's a lot better if you save this on Roblox Studio, but you also have the option to, if you want to save uh, this manually, if you want to click on download a copy, it's going to actually download a copy of your game here. But yeah, we don't want to do this. We want to keep our save files on their uh, uh, Roblox server here where we could actually edit this one. So from here, you need to click on Edit Studio, and again, you'll be able to edit this one. So it's actually quite easy. You just need to know the right UI and the right settings to save this one. And from here, you could just start playing your game normally as you would. It would actually start capturing any changes that you want. You will be adding. As you can see, that's the asset that we just added. That support sports card as well as the sword. So like for example, you made other changes again into your game and you added other stuff here. Like for example, spawns, uh, point light here. So what you need to do is you need to click on file again. And from here, you need to click on save to Roblox. So it's going to save or add the changes that you added into your game. And it's going to actually save it. So let's wait for it to load up again. And when we close this one, just to give you an example, so let's just click on reload this one first. And from here, you want to click on edit in studio. 
and open Roblox. And as you can see, it's going to load up the latest thing that we added here, which is the spawn light here. And yeah, and that's how you save games in Roblox Studio. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.